Hi, this is Flora Brown, and I would like to share with you how to go about using the new LinkedIn publishing platform. Up until February 2014, only people who were called influencers, those were celebrities and notables, were allowed to publish in the publishing platform. The rest of us could put updates, and this is the update box here on your home page, and it used to have just the paper clip in it. But as of February 2014, LinkedIn decided to open the doors for all of us to potentially become influencers. And to do that, we are now allowed to post our uh, articles in their new publishing platform. They are rolling it out slowly so everyone doesn't have it uh, just yet, but you will eventually. You will know that you have it by going to your home page. This is my home page. And in the share and update box, you will see a pencil. This is the new um, feature when you click on this that will allow you to create a post. Now you could create the post right here, just like you would on your blog, or you could bring your post over, your article over, create it over in Word or somewhere else, and then cut and paste it. That's what most people do. But if you wanted to, you could just place your title here, and then you could go to where it says write your thoughts, and of course, <laughs> write your thoughts. You um, notice that at the top, this looks very much like the symbols you're used to using in your uh, blog post and in Word documents. In this uh, publishing platform, you may insert links, of course. You may also ins embed media, meaning you could put in uh, videos if you choose to. And you can also insert images. Whatever you decide to put in here when you're finished, you can preview it, save it, or if you are sure you're ready to go with it, of course you can hit publish. Now you're probably wondering, why do I want to use this new publishing platform? Well, one of the reasons is that it gives you a great deal of visibility, probably more than you would get having people come to your site. And the number of uh, influencers on LinkedIn and, and notable people, and I don't just mean celebrities, I mean also people who are looking to interact and connect with professionals is going to be far greater than just over on your uh, blog. So this is one of the big reasons to use this pl platform. One of the best things about it, if you take a look at your profile, we're going to go to my profile, you will notice, let's remove this person trying to get me to endorse, uh, trying to endorse me. Um, here on my profile, you'll notice right after the, the header box, you will see post. And this is something that is hasn't been here before. Now that I, I can publish on this platform. Everything I publish is going to be here, and people will be visitors will see this first before they go to the background and all the other things that are there. And this is very new and very um, a great way to get visibility and credibility and showcase your expertise. I'm going to, so far, I've done about, uh, I think, four or five of these, and you can see them here. I always put an image in mine and I also try to put a video and if I can find something appropriate. The last one I wrote uh, in April was on Earth Day. And you can see when I clicked on it that it opens up and uh, you can see all the information about it. It also shows at the bottom people who read my post shows what else they read. And this is great because at at some time my uh, posts are going to be down here. You will notice over on the right that it also tells the most recent posts I've written and then the top posts for the uh, whole LinkedIn um, platform or the whole LinkedIn site. Now at this point I had 60 people to view this particular article. That's not very much compared to the influencers who have tens of thousands and maybe even millions of people viewing theirs. However, 
this does give me a new platform, a new set of eyes on my writing and my thoughts that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So this is one of the reasons that you want to consider using it. One of the best things about it so far is that you do not have to write brand new content. You can take content from your existing blog and bring it over and post it here. Uh, this, is art this article, by the way, I wrote last year for Earth Day. As a matter of fact, I write on Earth Day each year, I write an article, and I typically tweak the one from the previous year and add new links and so forth, probably a new image. So this is something you can do as well, and it gives you a lot of visibility. Some of the people I know who have written these, have begun to use this platform, have gotten loads of comments. A couple of people have reported that they've gotten radio interviews, and of course some have even gotten leads to jobs, so uh, writing assignments or whatever their particular field is. So this is certainly worth your time to uh, look on your home page <laughs> and see if you have in fact got up in this update box this pencil. If you have not, not to worry, it is going to be there eventually. Of course, if you're very eager and you can't wait, <laughs> you could write to LinkedIn's help and ask if they could give you the publishing platform, make it available to you sooner. And some people have done that and it, is, it, it has worked. So that's the new publishing platform. Uh, if you're wondering what's the difference again between that and the old update, the old update, you can still do that. Typically, I used to share updates of other people's work, other articles, and you can still do that. The difference is that as new updates are added to LinkedIn, whatever you shared gets pushed down, down, down. With your blogs, the posts rather that you're going to post here, they're not going to get pushed down. They're going to be right there at the top of your profile for everyone to see. And this is a great new thing that LinkedIn has made available to us, so why not use it? I do not recommend that you post something exclusively on LinkedIn and don't have it anywhere else because, as you know, with social media and the world as it is, we never know when this might go away. And you don't want to have articles that suddenly disappear. So it would be a great thing to share something that you also have somewhere else, probably on your own blog um, or in some other spot, maybe in your files. But you certainly don't want this to be the one and only location. So I hope this has helped. Um, again, this is Flora Brown. If you have questions about this, uh, go ahead and email me at florabrown at gmail.com. Thank you.